Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to tell if a wall is load-bearing. In this video, I will be outlining a very simple process that you can use to determine whether or not a wall is a load-bearing wall. Let's get right to it. So I'm going to sort of act as the cameraman and the instructor uh, at the same time within this video, so bear with me. What I have here is a beam, and I'm going to go behind the camera and give you a better view. Now, if you take a look up here, okay, you can see that we have a beam. So, if you take a look at this beam, you can see up here there are some pieces of wood. And those pieces of wood are actually supporting the floor above me, okay? Those pieces of wood are resting on this beam. So this beam is a load-bearing beam. This beam is supporting the pieces of wood above me, which are supporting the floor above me, okay? It's very simple. So basically this beam is being used as a support system for these pieces of wood, which are being used as a support system for the floor above me. Now there are also some concrete uh, posts over here and those are actually supporting the beam itself. So the weight from the floor above me is being transferred onto these pieces of wood right here that are running this way right over here, okay? Just over here. And then that weight is being transferred onto this beam and the beam is then transferring the weight onto these posts right over here which sends the weight to the ground. So once you have mastered that thought process it becomes a lot easier to determine if a wall is load-bearing or not. So I know what you're thinking, why are you showing me a beam? Well, I'm showing you a beam because that is the way that things are supported above you, okay? Now, if there was a wall here instead of a beam, and these pieces of wood were resting on the top of that wall, then the wall would be load-bearing, okay? But because there's a beam here, I can put a wall here, I can remove a wall from here, and the beam will always support the weight of everything above me. So what you have to do to determine if a wall is load bearing or not is you basically have to um, you have to look at whether or not there are things that are on that on the top of that wall. In this case, if there was no beam here and there was a wall there, then the wall would be supporting the weight of those pieces of wood above me. Okay, so the wall would be load bearing if there was not a beam here and the wall was here, then the wall would be load bearing. But since the beam is here to support that weight then you know the wall that might be here um, if I put a wall over here then it would not be load bearing now in addition to these floor joists over here or I should say ceiling joists because they're above me right now um, you can also have walls that are load bearing for the things that contribute to your roofing system so you have to basically access the top of the wall okay once you get to the top of the wall you can look for any things that are resting on the top of that wall and that will allow you to know whether or not that wall is load bearing if there aren't any things that are resting on that wall then the wall is not load bearing so just get to the top of the wall whether that means going into your attic or you know removing some drywall to sort of peek into the top of the wall figure out a way to look at the top of the wall once you have located the top of the wall and you can see it then you can see if there are any um, any joists that are resting on it or any things that are connected to your roofing system that are resting on it. If that's the case, then it is almost surely a load-bearing wall. If there's nothing resting on it, then it is almost surely a non-load-bearing wall. That's basically it. What I've told you is the thought process for determining whether or not a wall is load-bearing. And this works almost every single time. There are exceptions to the rule, but the thought process that I've told you about, um, that I've spoken to you about, will work almost every single time. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.